beautiful people welcome and welcome back to my channel it's alexis y'all i'm so excited because let me get this hair out of my face so i'm super excited for today's video because i'm doing a barbie inspired makeup look so i never do eyeshadow y'all know this i'm like team no makeup makeup <laughs> but in honor of the new barbie movie that's coming out I want to do a makeup look inspired by that. So y'all know Nicki Minaj and Ice Spice has came out with the Barbie Girl song. And I have been obsessed. Obsessed ain't even a word. I swear I listened to that song like 10 times yesterday, y'all. Like <laughs> I swear it was on repeat, okay? So I want to do the makeup look that Nicki Minaj actually had in that video. I'll try to... Like, insert a little picture of it. I don't know how to insert it in the video yet. So, I'll just try my best to show y'all some type of way what the makeup look like. <laughs> but, let's go ahead and jump in. Let's start off with the eyes today. I never do that. But, I'm going to start off with the eyes because I don't want the eyeshadow to, you know, get on my foundation. If it falls, if it's a lot of kickback. So, so because I don't have that, it's kind of like a light blue that she had on the lids. I don't have that particular color. So I have to do some mixing. I'm going to go in with this Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde Palette Retrograde Palette. Y'all know I have sensitive eyes, so I'm not even supposed to be wearing this. But for the sake of you guys, <laughs> I'm going to do it today. So what I'm going to do is take this color haze, it's like this aqua blue, and I'm going to start off with that and just pack it onto the lid. Now, I'm done with that color. So, now I'm just going to go into this Morphe and James Charles palette. Y'all, this was actually given to me. I did not purchase this with my own money. So, don't be talking about me, okay? I know a lot of people don't fool with James Charles, but it was gifted. So, <laughs> we just going to use it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that white shade in the palette. Like I said, because I don't have that light blue I mean, that light, light blue shade that she's using in the video, I have to create a shade, so I have to mix. So I'm just going to gently tap the white on top of that just to lighten that blue up. And I'm just going to keep building until it gets brighter. And we really brightened that up. I may go in and brighten it up just a little bit more. But for now, I think that's a good start. Y'all know the cool thing about makeup, you can always get creative and find ways to make stuff work for you. Now, what I also could have done was went in with a really, really light base. Like, I could have went down, I could have went in with a eyeshadow primer that's just completely, that's like four shades lighter than my skin and pack the blue on top of that. But, you know, it's plenty ways you can do it. So, I just choose to do it like this. And this is going to kind of take a few times to do it because again i am creating the shade that she used that they used in the video i don't know whoever her makeup artist was in that video they did they thing because like Nicki minaj makeup ice spice makeup was cute too but Nicki minaj makeup eight i was like dang who did your makeup okay so now that we've gotten the customized light blue i want to say it's like a baby blue supposed to be that's what it looks like they used in that video it kind of looked like a baby blue to me so now what they have is a dark blue starting from the inner corner halfway into the center of the brow bone so it's starting right here and it's stopping right here so i'm gonna go back in with that morphe palette morphe and james charles 
I'm gonna take this dark blue. It's probably, I'll probably use, mm, probably use this. This looks like the closest shade. This one looks the closest to what they used in that video. So I'm probably gonna take that one and I'm just gonna spray it because I do want it to look, I don't want it to look stark. So I'm gonna spray the brush just a little bit and let me just separate the bang yang. <laughs> Separate the bang yang, and I'm starting from the inner corner right here. And I'm just stopping it right here and I'm basically just basically just gonna keep going back in until I build up the intensity of the blue just going back and forth back and forth and because we wet that brush is giving us a little bit more it's making it a little easier to glide on the eye I don't know if I should go deeper or not, but I think this is a good blue. It looked close to what they used. I have to pull up the picture to see if it was a deeper blue. If it is, then of course we can go back in. Just to clean up a bit, I'm gonna go back into this white shade and just kinda tap that right there just to clean up because I went kinda heavy with the blue, with the dark blue right there. This is the makeup that I'm referring to, okay? Her makeup artist eight, okay? If only I had the pink hair. But as y'all can see, it's like a light baby blue on the base and a dark blue on the crease. Okay, so I actually can go a little deeper with the crease shade so that's what we gonna do if i need to go back in in a little bit i will but for now i'm gonna go ahead and go in with the eyeliner so I'm gonna take this jet black eyeliner from e.l.f. and just create. She has a really big wing going on. Like it's one of those dramatic, y'all know how Nicki Minaj like her wing. So I gotta get real dramatic with this wing today. She got it going way up. And the wing is thick, so I can go behind it and clean it up because, ooh, Nicki Minaj and this thick wing, girl. <laughs> Okay, so I basically at this point just got to clean up what I did. So I'm going to go underneath and, you know, just clean up with the makeup wipes. Y'all know Nicki Minaj love that dramatic wing. I ain't got time for all that. Now we can move on to the face. <laughs> 
So for this look, I want to go full coverage, okay? Because I know the makeup girlies, they love full coverage. Especially in music videos, you know, you have to wear more makeup for photo shoots and stuff like that because the lights can kind of drown you out, you know, so you have to go a bit heavier for photo shoots and stuff like that. So for my foundation, I'm taking the Physicians Formula because this is one of the most full coverage foundations I have. So taking my flat brush, of course, to keep that coverage going. The thing with the Barbie inspired makeup is it's not really dewy, you know, it's very matte. It seems to be very matte. So I would have used my Shay Sun Glow, but like I said, uh, this, this makeup look looks pretty matte to me. So I'm just gonna keep it that way. Y'all know the Physicians Formula. If you haven't used this, I believe this is $14, but it is one of the best, best drugstore foundations I've ever tried. And I'm not really into foundations, you know, anymore. I prefer a good skin tint, a good medium coverage, but I love this though. And it's so like, even though it's matte and it's full coverage, it still got a little bit of radiance to it. I just... I love it. Now I'm gonna go in with my LYS Triple Fix Serum because it is a full coverage concealer and we wanna be highlighted, okay? Like like I said, this is a full beat, okay? This makeup look requires a full beat. And y'all know I don't even bring my concealer down that low, but we gotta do what we gotta do. We gotta do what we gotta do. So y'all, I just honestly, Y'all let me know if y'all plan on do, watching the new Barbie movie that's coming out. I, let me tell y'all something, okay? I was a Barbie head growing up. Like, I was so obsessed with Barbie growing up. I had Barbie everything. Like, I had Barbie clothes. I had, my whole room was decorated with Barbie. I had over like 200 Barbie dolls. <laughs> like I was just obsessed with Barbie, you know, and everybody knew it. So every time I would go to my godmama house, you know, she knew to have me like new Barbie stuff <laughs> whenever I came to her house. So at my godmama house, I had like my Barbie doll house. I had my Barbie dream car. I had the little Barbie pool thing. <laughs> I had it all and at my house at my mama house like I had a Barbie room everything was just Barbie girl I was Barbied out okay so I was really like a Barbie girl to the bone you understand me like I was a Barbie head and everybody knew it so it's crazy because like when I was younger like I said like I was obsessed with Barbie so when the internet came around I would spend all day and all night on Google playing Barbie dress up games. So I think that's where like it all started. <laughs> like me staying up. It's crazy because like the things that we stray away from as adults are the things that, you know, we probably that probably makes us happy, you know, but we have the world telling us that we need to grow out of it you know and the older we get the more we feel like we have to let go of the things that actually makes us happy and i feel like you know you being happy is one of the most important things in the world in my opinion you know so i feel like no matter how old you are you should hold on to a piece of that happiness you know whether it's you know, no matter what it is, because if it makes you happy, you know, as long as you're not hurting yourself or hurting nobody else, I don't see why, you know, we have to feel like we got to grow out of stuff. Of course, society makes us feel like we too old to do certain stuff, you know, and that's just not the case. Like, don't let nobody tell you about your happiness, you know, it just, it don't go like that. So with me... I've always been, like I said, a Barbie head. So ultimately, 
I grew up trying to, I was ashamed, you know, the older I got because I was still into stuff like that, you know? So I would spend all day and all night on the computer playing Barbie dress up games. So I've always liked doing makeovers, you know? And at this point in my life, now that I'm grown, that's what I do for a living. And it's just kind of crazy to me because it's like, I thought I would grow out of it. But technically, when I was playing those Barbie dress up games, I was doing their makeup. I was doing their hair. I was picking out their clothes. So I've always been into stuff like that. And then when I got in high school, I used to see girls, you know, not trying to be funny, but I used to see girls at school and I just used to be like, oh my gosh, I want to give her makeover. <laughs> like it was on some Cher and Dawn type stuff. <laughs> like, Dion, it was on some Cher and Dion type stuff. Like I was like, I want to give people makeovers. Like, and not, not in a mean way. I just would see people and be like, dang, I wish I could pick out an outfit for her. Dang, I wish I could just do her hair. Dang, I want to just do her makeup and show her how beautiful, more beautiful she would be if she just did this. You know, if she wore her hair probably with a middle part or a side part, you know, cause a lot of people just don't know what works for them. And not saying I'm an expert, but that's just something that I've always been into. So, you know, it just kind of makes sense, I guess, that I was like a Barbie girl because I genuinely love, I genuinely love doing stuff like this, you know? When Bratz came out, oh my gosh, I got on my mama nerves with Bratz dolls. Like, my mama hated the fact that I was like so into Barbie and Bratz because she was always spending money. <laughs> she was always spending money on that stuff, you know? Y'all know I don't contour my nose, but it looked like Nicki Minaj had a really nice nose contour in that video, so that's what we gonna do. Okay, so now that we've done the contour, I'm excited. All right, so now we can go ahead and blend out this concealer. It's been sitting long enough, and y'all know this is a matte full coverage concealer, so... So yeah, are y'all watching the new Barbie movie that's coming out? Because I really want to go. I want to go watch it. You know, that's, I'm sorry, but I ain't that mature yet, okay? I still want to go watch a Barbie movie, okay? <laughs> I still want to go watch the Barbie movie. I don't care how old I am, okay? I'm still going to watch it. Now, also, how y'all feel about the new Insidious movie? <laughs> Let me tell y'all, when I first watched Insidious, when it, the first one, when the first one came out, y'all, I promise you, I was terrified. When that movie ended, I ran out the movie theater. And my sister and my cousin was like, Tootie, Tootie. Where you going? I was like, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> I was so scared. That movie had me so creeped out. And that night, y'all, my sister, she real like reserved and she like being to herself. But the three of us, we had to sleep together that night. Like <laughs> we had to use the bathroom together. Like anytime one of us had to use the bathroom, we was like, come to the bathroom with me. <laughs> and then later that night when it was time to go to sleep, my sister came in the room. She never used to do that. Now, this is when I was like, I want to say I was like 19. I was younger. But uh, my sister came in my room with me and my cousin or whatever. And she was just like, can I sleep at the bottom of the bed? <laughs> like that movie terrified us. Like it, it scared the mess out of us. So now that they came out with a new one, my sister was telling me, she was like, um... You, you might not want to go watch that. She was like, man, this is... It's scary, scary. And I'm like, listen, I done grew up now. <laughs> I'm grown now. I feel like I can handle the movie a little better now that I'm older, you know. Back then, girl, I was just so scary. But now, it's, I feel like, you know, my mama be surprised when I say stuff like this too. Because everybody know how like scary I am when it comes to stuff like that. I don't even like being home by myself. 
at night. <laughs> so everybody knows how scary I am when it comes to stuff like that. But you know, nowadays I just be like, you know, spirits live amongst us every day. You know what I'm saying? We can't see them. Some of us can, some people can. But spirits live amongst us every day. They walk amongst us every day. You probably got some in your house and you don't even know it. That's why I keep that sage on me, <laughs> okay? But nowadays I just be like, I think I can handle it a little better because I'm a little more aware of spirits. So I don't really care that much no more. So I feel like it's something that I'm, you know, that I might like if I go and watch it. So that's what's on my agenda. Probably next week, I'm going to go and watch Insidious and Barbie. I don't really know when the Barbie will come out, but I know I'm going to watch it. All right. So now that we got that set in, it's nice and bright up under here. We don't bake, you know, but it's nice and bright. I like it. Okay. So now we're going in with blush. In that video, I'm looking at the computer screen. She has like this really nice pink blush. And y'all know Barbie, she's all about pink. So I'm gonna go in with my house labs, Dragon Fruit Days, and tap this on. And I'm gonna go just a little heavy with the blush again because I mean, because of the theme, it's Barbie. So we want the blush, we want the pink to show up. You know what I'm saying? I'm carrying it back to my temples, even though that part not gonna show because of the banging. But I really want this pink blush to show up. And this is like the perfect, the perfect pink for this look. Yeah, it's nice and bright and it's showing up the way it's supposed to. Okay, I know it look like a lot, but we are going for a character, y'all. So it has to show up, okay? I may just go in with a little more setting powder, but I don't know just yet. So for now, we just gonna leave it like this. Now she looks like she has a really, really bright highlighter. Dang it, I should have did the highlighter before I did this part. Zam. Ooh. Uh... Oh, you know what this looked like? It actually looked like one of those mod looks. Like, I don't know what it's called, but it's kind of like that mod look. You know that that um, Cardi B go for it a lot. Like that old, like 70s. I don't know if it's 60s, 70s, but it's like that mod look. This is what it's giving a little bit. It's cute. Okay. <laughs> I really wish I would have put on my highlight first, but I'm going to try my best. I'm going to really try my best to apply the highlight on top of this blush. Let's just hope it works, you know? They brought it down to her cheek, right up in here. I really don't want to apply too much pressure because again, I've already applied my powder bl blush and I don't want anything to get patchy. I don't want it to skip. So, okay. Yeah, that's exactly how they got it. They apply just a little bit to the apples of her cheek look like, and then of course just take it up. So it looked like she ran, they ran some of the blue underneath her eye as well. So let's do that. So now I'm gonna go into this BH Cosmetic Palette. Y'all, when is the last time you heard somebody use a BH Cosmetic Palette? What happened to BH Cosmetics? Anyway, I'm gonna go in with this like light blue at the bottom. That's what it looks like they're using. And what they did is they started it right here and then they applied that white shade at the beginning in the front. Ooh, uh, this is so cute. Now I'm going back into that white shade that we used. Might not show up that good on me, but 
We may have to go in with like a shimmer right there. All right, so now let's go in with the lips. She has a really dark lip liner on, a dark brown. Okay, so she has this pink, she has this really nice pink lip going. So I'm going to start off with Dirty Talk and Elf. It's not that pink, but I'm going to use this as a base. This is really nice, like Barbie pink type of color. And now I'm going to go in with the Elf Lip Plump in the shade... I don't know what shade it is. Sheesh. Sparkling Rosé. Because she has this gloss in the video. It's not a matte lipstick. It's a gloss. So, yeah. So, lastly, let's go ahead and go in with some lashes. Y'all know I don't even wear false lashes, okay? But... We gotta have vibes, okay? So I'm going in with some Eye Envy Feathery Style. So Wispy Lashes. And this is in the number M67. That's the last little three up there, M67. Y'all, I ain't even gonna lie. I probably forgot how to put on lashes. It's been so long. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I forgot how to apply lashes. That's one lash. <laughs> we didn't forget. All right, y'all, so this is the finished look. I think this is so cute. Like, this makeup, I don't know, is it giving Nikki? And I'm better like the Barbie. I'm a doll, but I still want to party. I'm a tense, so I'm pulling the can. Like, Jazzy, Stacy, Nikki, Gra. All of my bitches is pretty. Damn, all of my bitches is bad. It, girls. And we ain't playing tag. Ay, rad. But he spanked me when I get bad. I'm in LA, Roselle Drive. I'm in New York, Medicine Ave. I'm a Barbie girl. Pink Barbie dream house. The way that can be killish. Got me like the screen house. <laughs> I think I recreated this really really good okay y'all let me know what y'all think about this makeup look down in the comment section I surprised myself because y'all know I do not wear stuff like this I don't remember the last time I wore eyelashes the last time I wore this dramatic eyeshadow like it's just really it's just so girly you know and it's cute and it's fun and I just think this is the perfect time to recreate something like this because it's summertime you know when it's fun it's bright you know, it's just pretty. It's really, it's really girly, you know? I love the way this look turned out. I cannot believe <laughs> it turned out this good. I'm loving it. So, this is how we looking. I got on the Barbie inspired, well it's not Barbie, but you know, I have on my little dress, my pink dress. I'm ready to go outside y'all. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end off this video. I really hope y'all enjoyed it. I'm happy that I decided to do a video like this because I never do inspired makeup videos. So I love the fact that this turned out right, that it turned out good. Y'all let me know if y'all into these types of videos. I know somebody commented a while ago and asked me to do a Kiki Palmer inspired video. I will be doing that soon, girl. 
don't get fed up with me okay i'm doing it i promise you <laughs> so let me know if y'all like these types of videos if y'all are interested in these types of videos and let me know if y'all want to watch the new movie that's coming out and let me know y'all thoughts on it so yeah i hope y'all really really enjoyed this video i hope y'all enjoyed this makeup look don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel because it's more like this to come i really hope y'all enjoyed it have a beautiful day i'll see y'all in the next video